What is going on everyone? My name is Chrono and welcome back to some Gran Turismo 7. And today I asked myself the question, what will happen if I give the CPU my garage? Um, what I mean by that is, with the latest farming technique, I realized that, wait a minute, I can give the CPU my cars, like for my garage, and they're taken one by one, and with no changes or anything, just like I had them before? That sounds interesting. So that's what I did. And today I want to find out how well would the CPU actually drive my cars, because I have some monsters in my garage, and I'm just gonna try with a cappuccino first, to see where that is going. I already set up the thingy, I guess. Um, I just don't have... I don't think I have the fastest ones in here, right? No, I don't. So we're gonna go and change this. Um, I'm gonna put the GTR up here. We're gonna have uh, the Corvette up here. And then we're gonna give the RCF to this dude. And then we're gonna go see uh, one change I gotta do, yeah, midnight, because if you don't drive on the route, uh, the special stage route X at midnight, uh, did it ever happen? It's not really interesting seeing if the CPU will nerf my cars or if they will actually be driven like they're supposed to. Cause it's just a straight, like they, they don't have to drive slow because the car is too fast, right? Now picking the cappuccino because it is pretty quick, but it's not that quick. GTR has no regards to the other GTR. Weird, dude. You can't just do that. So there's a time look. Okay, I'm definitely not catching up to the GTR. That was a couple of... Uh, I think the, the C has like 900 horsepowers or some shit like that. But yeah, the top three, they're pulling. They're definitely pulling away. Got the LFA in front about 700 horsepowers but it looks like the CPU is actually driving it like it's supposed to I guess 17 18 yeah 20 yeah, I'm not gonna catch up to that Twenty-two. Yeah, they're way faster. Oh, they're spinning out. Someone lost control. Mayday, mayday. So, let's see. Um, we gotta exit. I should have saved. Damn. We gotta redo it. But I gotta change my car here. Um... Question, which car should I use? Do I just go straight in and see if I can catch them with um, but generally speaking the Corvette is my fastest right now it's just lighter than the GTR uh, I'm gonna load settings, load again, and then open, change that, I'm gonna put the, put this, and TTR. Then again, midnight. 
Let's see how this is gonna go. Because I was always under the impression that the CPU will drive slower. Just to create some balance in the game, I guess? Well, I'm gaining on the first place. Gaining a lot of time. But so far it's all making sense. The Corvette is first. I don't know if I... I think I put the Corvette first, actually. But I'm gaining time. Probably gonna gain even more time once I'm in the slipstream. Thing is, the the RCF and the GTR they don't go that much over 500. I feel like 508 is. Oh, there goes the Corvette. There goes me. We really aren't made to be driven around corners. But yeah, so far it makes sense. It isn't out of the ordinary or anything. I thought it would be behave weirdly or something like that. That was interesting, really. So, um, I would recommend trying stuff like that out, honestly, instead of just, I don't know what you guys are doing on Grand Turismo. I usually just play offline. But this is, this is a fun way to experience the game, especially if you go on, like, the Nürburgring and you have your whole garage in there just driving. I would recommend setting the, the CPU to beginner, I believe just to make them slower because if you give them cars with Giron engines that aren't supposed to be in those cars they're gonna freak out they're gonna crash constantly so while it's funny to see like everyone crash into walls and other cars it's not really a fun driving experience and sometimes you just want to cruise around and pretend like you're doing uh, tourism farting offline and not just online with other players so that's about it for this video i guess um so let me know if you want to see more of this kind of stuff if you have any questions about the game or video recommendations the ideas whatever let me know in the comments and yeah thanks for watching and as always have a nice day bye